Hi there friends, so welcome back uh, to Gaming Park. Today I am going to talk about uh, undervolting Intel's 10th generation mobile CPUs. Uh, can you undervolt them? No, does they even support uh, Intel Extreme Utility? Uh, if you, if not, uh, how can you decrease the CPU temperature? Uh, to know the process, so watch the video till the end. Uh, if you use a gaming laptop with Intel's 10th generation uh, Comet-like processors like uh, Intel Core i5, 10300H, uh, 10400H or Core i7, 10750 uh, or even Core i9, you may notice a high temperature situation or overheating while playing games. Uh, sometimes it goes uh, up to 90 to 95 degrees Celsius in my previous video where I benchmarked uh, Far Cry 5 I noticed uh, the temperature crossed the 100 degrees Celsius mark but thankfully it didn't shut down or didn't face I didn't face any problem but uh, it needed to be controlled to control this uh, you got to unravel your CPU or do something like that but unfortunately Intel has locked undervolting in their 10th generation mobile CPUs. You literally you cannot undervolt them using Intel Extreme Utility or either using thr throttle stop. Uh, to, but uh, to control this situation, you need to lower the TDP power to decrease the clock speed and lower the temperature. Let's see how to do it. Uh, for this, you need to download the throttle stop link given in the description so watch the video till the end and you might be helpful and you might find this video helpful and you can decrease your temperature while gaming first we need to open the throttle stop then click on turn on and then we go to tpl and do not do anything else do not click on anything here we need to change these two values uh, just uh, change this according to your need but uh, for example we are going to give 35 and 35 uh, you may set uh, for 45 or anything else but I found it I uh, found this as a sweet spot so I will go 35 and 35 but by default it will be higher than this it may be 45 and the second one might be 90 or 100 basically this for this reason they are very set very high by default uh, so they consume very much power and the temperature goes high so after we lower these values to 35 or you can maybe you can may go up, down below as well to 30 25 to check uh, whether your CPU is working, performing well in your games, but I will prefer keep it to 35. It will, uh, it will lower down your temperature by a very good margin. So I do not prefer going below 35. So let's check it in our games how our game performs. I'll click on apply and minimize this to system tray. So here we are, we are back and we are playing Far Cry 5. In my previous video where I benchmarked Far Cry 5, you guys saw how my CPU was running hot. It was going above 100 degrees Celsius, which is not a very good sign. So after decreasing our TDP power, let's see how our CPU temperature is controlled. and. Uh, Lowing down our, our lowing down our TV, uh, will it effect on our CPU? Will it uh, bottleneck or will it start? Will the game stutter a bit? Uh, let's find out in this video. Uh, so keep an eye, keep an eye on both the FPS count and the temperature. Let's hope the temperature goes down. So let the game start. So here we go our game has started and uh, look at the temperature it's fluctuating between 70 75 8 uh, maximum of 80 
uh, it's a very good performance thermal performance and look at our uh, let's check our settings it's of high settings and look at the fps count uh, the fps hasn't dropped at all uh, cpu usage is a bit high but that's not because of our decreasing tdp it's uh, if you if you didn't decrease the tdp in the cpu just usage will be same and it's because of this area you will if you go to another area the cpu usage will lower down that's not a big deal that's not because of tdp uh, here we go the uh, cpu usage has gone down so here we go and of course we are playing in turbo mode it's a very good uh, thermal performance so every intel uh, 10th generation mobile laptop CPU user should uh, follow this trick because they cannot uh, undervolt their CPUs and if their CPU runs hot above 1995 the it's a, a lifetime will decrease uh, by a very 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 massive margin so uh, it's not good to use your CPU with a very high temperature so you must uh, consider these uh, steps So that's a goodbye for today. Hope you like this video and with this video hope this video is helpful for you. So if you like this video give it a thumbs up and don't of course subscribe our channel to give us support. Okay, goodbye Tata.